Hey, you guys, how y'all doing? This will be a quick energy reading for this week ahead, okay? A quick energy reading for this week ahead. Um, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when I upload, okay? Real quick, collective. What is the energy for the week? Energy for the week ahead, spirit. What messages do you have for them, okay? So we have surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself. Surrender your attachments to results. Surrender to effortlessness. Give me one more. And the surrender to in, inner peace. So the spirit really wants you to focus on yourself this week. Okay. This surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself. You have some deep, hard, rooted feelings, emotions, thoughts about you that you need to heal. This surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself and surrender your attachments to results is basically saying you pictured yourself to be so much farther than where you are. You have so many plans for yourself. You keep it's like you you see yourself or you saw yourself in a position. And now as you look at yourself, it's like your life is kind of like. It's, it feels like you feel like everything is being snatched underneath you and you're just in this pure state of falling or you're in this you're in this energy of like now you're in this energy of I deserve this or it's like you're trying to make yourself repay or you're like did I deserve this it's something like that it's like you're you're questioning if you deserve this like what did I do to deserve this is what okay that that is it what did I do to deserve this? This surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself is pain. It's so much pain here. It's so, so much pain here. Go into this surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself. Why is this here? Why is this here for the collective? This is struggling. Struggling, struggling, struggling energy. We have the six of wands and the sun. And the Queen of Pentacles. What this is saying is this surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself is you are the knight in shining armor for everyone. And now that you're in this space to where you're stuck, you're confused about your path, you don't know what direction you're going in because you feel as if your life is falling apart. This six of wands is like you're you're looking for someone to save you, but you always saving other people now need to learn how to save yourself this six of wands is you looking it's like you want the attention you want the accolades you you want to be the person that it's like i don't know what am i trying to say here to everyone else you are the strong person. You're the person that shows up and be there and always have their self together. And now you can't be that strong person anymore because let's be clear, you never was the strong person. It was a facade and you can't hide it anymore. And now this six of wands to the sun is the truth within you is finally being exposed that you're an overgiver. You, you, with the queen of pentacles here, you have a problem with nurturing people. We have a problem with nurturing the brokenness in people because you want that to be nurtured within you. And now that you're here and you're at this state of where you feel as if your, your whole life is going to shambles or you're at this state to where nothing is really going in your favor. You're looking for someone to come and save you. I don't know. This is deep. This is deep. And then this is an idea that you had, an image, a vision where your life was going to be. And you keep looking at where this life is, where, where you want it to be, how you wanted things to unfold, and you're punishing yourself. You're, you're, you're being very hard on yourself. <sighs> oh, How can I help you guys? This surrender to effortlessness and inner peace is you don't have peace. You can be completely by yourself. And where you feel like you should have peace, you still feel like isolated and lonely. This is because this is like a semi-depression energy. It's like you're trying so hard to show everybody that you have it together. But when you're alone and by yourself, you break down 
emotionally, mentally, physically. And it's like, you are at this space. It's a pivotal time where you're at this space and you're like, I can't keep living like this. I can't, I can't keep trying to fake my happiness or this is what spirit is trying to tell you. Like you can't keep faking your happiness. Damn, this is deep. What can I do for you guys? Spirit, any words of encouragement? Because what, five minutes? How much time do I have? Any words of encouragement? You have to be this version of yourself. It's like you're holding yourself to such a high standard. You put so much on your own plate to where you just need to just let it out. You need a fresh start, but you are your own fresh start. <sighs> Let me see. Let me try to pull best advice for you. Where my cards at? Best advice. Have the emperor they have the king of pentacles this is you finding balance one of them cards fell on the floor best advice bottom of the deck we have justice okay so listen this king of pentacles the emperor and the queen of pentacles this it, it obviously someone would look at this and be like Oh, this person, this possible third party situation, blah, blah, blah. But this is your best advice. This is having discernment on what you want to do. This is you getting strategy. This is you going to the board, strategizing, getting your thoughts together, writing down your plans, your ideas, your goals, your visions for yourself. Don't include anybody else include you and what you want to do and where you want to go and how you want to get there nobody else well, I, nobody else this king of, this king of pentacles and the emperor is about you standing in your power and taking action and reclaiming who you are reinventing who you are this queen of pentacles energy is once you come up with your idea your goal your vision the direction what your what's your stability your foundation once you get that together go in and nurture go in and love go in and in and, and, and i feel very protective energy it's like you need to protect your energy right now because you're so easily like it's like your energy is gullible. So it's going to attach itself to anything that makes it feel comfortable, that makes it feel safe and secure because your current foundation is currently falling apart. But I need to encourage you this. There is nobody outside of yourself that is going to make you feel stable, secure, and comfortable. Everything that you attach yourself is going to be illusion. It's going to be an illusionary energy, okay? It's not going to be real. It may feel real. It may look real. You you will be able to grab it, but it's not real because it's not within you. It's within someone else and it's their stability. It's their comfort. Do you understand? This king of pentacles energy and this emperor energy with the queen of, with the qu with king, queen, emperor is basically telling you that you need to create a space and make time for yourself and give love and nurture and honor yourself and honor your visions honor your truths and this is also saying be honest with yourself this release card the ends of a phase the ends the end of a phase or a situation spiritual transformation time to move on 
like I said, you're in this space, this energy to where it's really time for you to recreate who you are, recreate your vision. This surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself, the life you were living, it was not enough for you. And let's be clear, the life you cannot live the life in which you want to live until you have the boss to let go of this belief system of this structure foundation that was built in the past okay this release is like spirit basically telling you i'm tearing everything down including you because it was not it was not who you truly was this justice card with the lovers and the king of water it could have been a relationship and this relationship made you feel so strong and secure. And now this relationship is gone. Now this 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 structure, this this structure is gone. And now that's what you try to probably trying to attach yourself to something that is kind of similar. But you have to, you gotta do that for yourself within you. This release card is telling you that all, all facades are being revealed so you can break free from them including the one with yourself those lies that you're telling yourself trying to make it make sense trying to make everything make sense or trying to um let's say fake it till you make it you've been faking it till you make it for the past four years maybe the past eight years because this is one plus three which is four this is four eight for the past four years eight years you've been just trying to be rock solid but you you're not okay so it says a successful time confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch organizational and logic structure and discipline leadership and then it says make time for those around you take a sensible approach deal with challenges in a kind of understanding manner and this is dealing with challenges with yourself in a kind of understanding manner if you're trying to include someone else in your plans unless you have kids or you're married it's a no and even if you're married, you have to have your own vision, your own goals, your own dreams for you, or you're always going to feel like you're putting something off or you're putting other things before you or you never got a chance to live. You're always going to feel like that. This end of a difficult, this is the, this is the breaking of your ego. Your ego is shattering. Okay. I got to go. This, I don't know who this is for. Because this can't be the weekly energy. This week, you're going to be facing, facing, facing obstacles and challenges, facing your facades. Best advice. I just want one. I gotta go. I just want one. Thank you. So we have slow and steady, which is number 12, solitude. It says, I'm comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Um, the reverse says, too much solitude results in isolation and separation. Now is the moment to get together with friends and join in merriment. Hiding out will lead to loneliness and negative thinking. Separation at this time isn't a healthy choice. Are you in a situation in which you are feeling alone? You need to share this, not keep it to yourself. By joining with others, you'll hear what you need to know because spirit finds a way to speak through them without they're even knowing it you have the key to let yourself out of this prison you are loved and never alone meditation is required upright meditation is required you when you receive the solitude card as a sign into your mind of superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being this is not an event advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way rather it's a period of consciousness retreat what's called for now is to step back and take focus off your life and your troubles you will be surprised at how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of much needed rest and time out slow and steady it says remember the old cliche slow and steady rinse the race this is a time for easy movement unhurried steps and steady heart Trust that taking life at a more leisure pace will give you greater access to your dreams. Slowing down allows more contact with the juicier elements of your life. 
in reverse this card says pushing things forward impulsively will not prevent success but potentially cause more trouble than you're prepared to handle moving too quickly will yield unripe fruit with a bitter taste slow down breathe meditate you're not a human doing you're a human being just be everything will work out if you can apply the brakes and become more aware of what's happening in this moment a calm focus on the now breathing in the beauty of your surroundings will restore your power to consciously co-create your world all fruits ripen in their own time this is spirit telling you you want to take all these actions your plan is to move so quickly is to do this is to do that slow down you're thinking ahead too far and you just need to focus on the right the now because you have a lot of unprocessed trauma feelings and emotions that you need to deal with before moving forward because if you move forward if you continue to move forward the life in which you're trying to plan is not going to succeed how it should because you still have to process this energy right here that you're holding hostage. You've compartmentalized. Okay? I'm going to leave you guys there. Peace, love, and abundance to each and every one of you guys. Bye, loves.